Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to stage line 50. In this podcast we are going to show you how you set up a purchase order to a supplier for products that you are keeping in inventory. We're going to start off with the product scheme which shows us that we have four items at the moment which we record as inventory lawn mowers, chainsaws, trimmers and strimmers and three of these you will see are highlighted in red and if we go along here we can find the reason that they are highlighted in red is because they haven't got any in stock and so we need to order some so to order we go to the suppliers and we start with a new purchase order we bring up the new purchase order and we get all of these from McTavish, from McTavish Engineering. So we're going to start by putting in an order for McTavish Engineering. And depending on who's placed the order, we may have various ways of referencing this. I'm just going to use that as a reference for the moment. So if I now look at my screen, I can see that I'm going to be asked for product code, description, quantity, uh, prices and so on. Now the advantage of setting things up in inventory, of setting products up for inventory, we will see in a minute. I look for the product code, right, and I can see what's going to come up in red are McTavish chainsaws and the two other items. So I can start with the chainsaws and say, okay, let's click on those, we need those and here's the neat little bit you can see it fills in the description for me it fills in the quantity for me it fills in the last price what the total net price is going to be what the VAT will be and what my total is so far so I've now ordered my chainsaws and if I go down now I can next order my hedge trimmers so you say OK and you can see it fills in the same details for me and then finally let's just go down here the strimmers which were the last items I had which were in red and you can see that it's filled in those as well so I've now completed very quickly a purchase order to replenish the inventory for these three products. Having done that, I'm going to save the order. There we are. And close off there. Now you will notice that there is another side to this one because we then have to place the orders. In other words, we can accumulate a number of different orders before we actually place them or send them. So let's now click and activate the McTavish Engineering one so that we can place this. And so we can say one out of one orders, it's for £1,800. So I'm going to actually order that. So it says, do we want to print the purchase orders for the selected items? We would normally keep a record of this, so we're going to say yes. we want to place all the selected items on the order yes we're going to do an A4 order we will preview this and there we are you can see that the other neat thing is that it's now printed out of course all the details that we need for this particular purchase order so I'm now going to print the order and because I don't want to actually waste and churn out loads and loads of paper what I'm actually going to do is send this to a file so this is my McTavish purchase order and I save that and it now tells me, or should tell me, that's printed, so I can close that. I can 
suppose that I have placed the order I printed the order it tells me I printed the order here so I can close that so what I've done now is made out a purchase order and placed a purchase order for three products which were needed thank you